Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. Thank you. So, in the last uh, week, we we uh, saw some project charters from some of the students, and uh, then we did the major phase uh, session. In major phase, we uh, describe describe what is the city what is what is critical to quality, what is project Y, what is my project, what I want to do about. Then we also discuss about the measurement system analysis, that what we are measuring is correct, is relevant and uh, useful to us. And we also found out where we stand on the customer uh, point of view, and what sigma we are, and what sigma we are from the customer point of view. That were the major phase uh, activities that we discussed last time. So once we are done the major phase, and we are now moving forward to analyze phase. So in major phase, you got key where we are and where we want to improve. Let's see the PR delivery uh, uh, process. We just discussed that uh, the customer wants delivery in 30 minutes, plus minus 5 minutes. And we are delivering at an average of around 40 minutes with plus minus 10 minutes. So we are very much, the process is very much uh, variation during the process. And also, the mean is also very high. So now we want to uh, analyze the causes that are uh, affecting your process delivery. The causes that are affecting your quality, the causes that are affecting your service time, anywhere, the, whatever the uh, metric that uh, CTQ you have defined, it may be quality, it may be production, it may be service time, whatever the uh, CTQ is, so what are the causes that are affecting your poor delivery or poor performance? So that is what we do in the analyze phase. Analyze the things. Do the analysis of all data. So for that, there are a number of tools, various tools available. So this session is being divided into two parts. This session uh, will be taken, first part will be taken today, we will take it. And the next part we will do it on next Saturday. So that we cover the analyze phase. Because uh, there are various tools that are used. I will show the tools. We will discuss every tool. Uh, remember that all tools are not to be not used everywhere. All projects don't require all tools. You require some of the tools to get to your project. But uh, we cannot uh, selectively uh, uh, teach you tools. So we will uh, teach you all the tools. These tools are required by you. These tools are required with project. That will come to know when you when you take a project, and then you can decide which tool is to be used. So we will start with the uh, analyze phase now. So this uh, session will cover surgical tools or and our basic seven quality tools that we call basic seven QC tools, quality control tools. That are the tools which will be covered in this session. So uh, analysis phase uh, is uh, identify the variation sources and what are the causes, what are the uh, steps which are causing my process to go wrong, and screen the causes. That we will get number of causes. So which, which causes are important for us, which are not so relevant for us, and we have to screen and discover what is the relationship between the cause and the effect. So, deliverables of analysis phase are identify various sources, if determine root causes, root causes, determine the vital few, and identify what are the activities that are evaluated and non evaluated NV, VA and NV activities. So, various tools used in the analysis phase. Yes? Yes, somebody saying something? So the various tools continue. I have continued, sorry. So the various tools that we use in analyze phase are uh, basic seven quality tools that what we are that we study today. Or matrix we also call today. Why analysis we will call today. And the other tools that is seven new quality tools, correlation diagram, contingency tables, FM, FMEA, that we will cover in our next session. That is on next Saturday or somewhere when you take the next session. So there are a lot of tools that are available uh, on the platter, but uh, we have to select the relevant tool for our for project. I also give you some hints that which tools are to be used, the commonly used, that tools that are commonly used, and some tools that are to be used as per the requirement of the project. Let us start with the uh, basic uh, seven quality tools. So, what is their role? 
and uh, how they support different situations. You can just, uh, as a joke, you can see this picture. A lady, you can see her wife is standing uh, at the gate of the house and waiting for the husband to come. And she has various tools available for his various ways how he comes in. If he comes late, he has a belam maregi. Pika to bada belam maregi. Lipstick, he is having affairs, she will shoot her. There are tools that are that she has for her husband who you can come late. That are the, that is the way that tools are with us. Which tools are to use when it will be decided by the project leader. So seven body quality quality tools you can see that are as follows: the process mapping or charting, check sheet, certification, product analysis, histogram, brainstorming or cause and effect diagram, control charts that is various charts, graphs, everything. So where are they used? So you can see process mapping and check sheet for identifying the causes. Where the where my cause is, where we see process mapping, we do see we saw that day in defined field also. We, be, we prepared a process map for uh, arranging a meeting. So we had number of steps, around 50 steps that were there in the map. So which which step is going wrong? Or where I am trailing, where I am uh, not making proper uh, uh, quality tool, quality product. So that can be found out in process mapping. That is called identification of the causes. Or a check sheet. You must be, when you are appearing for a exam, you are, or you are appearing, uh, applying for a uh, university uh, course, then you have to check sheet to fill. You have to submit uh, Aadhaar card, you tick there. You submit a uh, SPAN card, you tick in. You submit a uh, mark sheet for 12 standard. You submit the CET or uh, JE scores. Then you submit photos, you submit a number of things. That's called check sheet. So by using a check sheet also, you can find out the causes. Like if, if somebody working in the, let us say, pizza delivery, he has got a check sheet. Uh, pizza is packed properly, cooked, tick. Yeah, put the sauces and all this what can be done. Actually, mm, this chili powder and uh, origami and all these things, yeah, tick. It is uh, properly packed and sealed. Yes, no. Then you say no. That is the cause for some pizza delivery late or call it down. Or when you are going for delivery, what time the pizza is uh, uh, given to delivery boy? It must be around 20 minutes from the order. What is the time? 20 minutes. That is a defect or it is a cause for variation or cause for the delivery wrong or delivery late. So that is how we identify the causes using the process mapping and check sheet tools. So these two tools are generally used for all projects. Then next is certification and product analysis. Then I will discuss one by one also just I'm giving an overview here. Certified product analysis may you can certify the data that you have based on some categorization to find out which category or which data is having the most significant values. Product analysis is you, you can uh, find out what are the main main areas of main areas where the uh, cause lies. In histogram also same thing. Brainstorming and uh, control charts they are used for analyzing or communicating. Where is the cause is? What is the root cause? Where are where are we going wrong? On the chart or using the cause and effect, you can identify that uh, root causes. Let us start with the first that is process mapping or flow charts. I think we have discussed this in defined phase. Just brush up in your uh, uh, knowledge again. You have to find out what is the objective of this process mapping uh, tool. Find out actual process or documented process. We always say the documented process is there. Where you, if you go to a bank, the return on document process that we will assign you or uh, we will deliver the uh, uh, demand draft within 30 minutes. That is the documented process. Or the process is ideal process. Actual process may kya hai? You get demand after 40 minutes. That is the actual process. Then you have to find out what is the difference between actual and documented. For documented process, they must have laid some rules. Like uh, a person submits demand draft request to the bank. The, the first clerk will take 10 minutes to fill the uh, data and punch in the draft. The second clerk, senior clerk will take 3 minutes to uh, review and approve it. Then the fourth clerk will take five, 5 minutes to print the demand draft. Then somebody will take two minutes to sign it. So it is a 30 minute, 30 minute, 20 minutes job. Then you can find out at each step actual time what is it taken. The first person is preparing the demand draft in 30 minutes. So he is having laid by 20 minutes. That is what we have to find out by using the process mapping. So in process mapping, 
you always find out actual process versus top one process. Second is VA versus NVA, non value added versus value added. What is value added? What is non value added? A person is preparing a demand draft, but due to non automation, or you can say uh, due to lack of uh, proper technology, the demand draft is put in the tray. A pune comes, sees the gets, uh, gets uh, leaves that draft of uh, document and goes inside the manager cabin and puts it there. Then the manager, at, as per his, uh, you can say, queue, will take up that document, review it, analyze it, and approve it. So the process of taking the demand draft document from one place to other is non value added. What value added is the queue is doing nothing. He is not adding any, any value to the demand draft. He is not uh, giving any extra thing to that draft because it is prepared by the clerk and the manager approved it. Now, if the process is digitized, uh, the person enters the demand draft dis 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 uh, description and everything input data into the laptop or, <coughs> sorry, or PC, he submits it, the manager gets a pop up saying that you have got a uh, you have got something to approve manager clicks in takes the sees that the data is correct as per the request and approves it that is a process evaluated process so what is we have to find out in each process step what is nva and what is va if when we do the session second session on analyze phase that is the lean sigma or lean tools that time we'll have more uh, discussion or more examples about what is va and what is nva then what is process input and process output that we have to find out by using process mapping. So process map can be that we discuss macro map that is high level process flow diagram or detailed map input output worksheet. So that this we saw in the when we prepared our SIPOC, we saw these three examples, a high level process map that is SIPOC, it is called supply input process output customer, wherein the you can say a managing director of the organization. See, he has got three, four places his unit. Like he has got in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Pune. So he is sitting in Delhi. So he will have a high level process map saying that what are my, who are my suppliers, big suppliers, what is the input, what is the process that I am producing, what is my output, total output for all the four places, and who is the customer, and what are your profits. So he will see a very high level map that is called a business view, or a helicopter view, or a macro view. And second is the operational level view, wherein site, that is site sitting in Ahmedabad, site head of that or so work head or site head of that plant of that site will have his own SIPOC saying that what are the input supplier process output for my site. So he will look at the site view or rooftop view, that is to say. So one view, one step lower he is coming. And the third thing we thought is the actual process. So the site has some 10 units, the unit head of one unit. We look at it, his unit only. What are my suppliers? What is the process? What is the output? What is the customer? Where I am standing? Where I am uh, lacking? What is my problems? What profits I am making? That is a lower level of the uh, mapping. So it goes in increasing detail when we move from macro to micro and then to the step by step or detail mapping. So that is what we saw in define phase and is also used in analyze phase. This time, the, the objective of in define phase, your objective was to just map. What is my process and who supplier and find out who is supplier, what is input, what is process, what is output, what is customer. Now here you will go in for the last step that is the operation or process step or hyper micro view details to find out in the process that is the P part. What are my steps? What are my details of the step? What is the timing or what is the process that I'm doing? What are the steps where I'm going wrong, where I'm going correct? What should I change and what is causing the causing my output to go wrong? Now in SIPOL, in defined phase, we just saw what is the process mapping. But now in the analyzed phase, we are going to study the process in detail and find out what are the things, causes that are causing my output to go wrong. Because now we have moved in analyzed phase, we have to analyze what is going wrong as per the customer point of view. So the process map remains same, only the deliverables or the objectives of this level are different. So in this level, we cannot expect somebody to give a micro level or macro level map. We don't want it. We want a detailed map that we, that we saw in our project, how to uh, uh, prepare a start uh, a meeting. That map we saw in defined phase. That had around 50 steps. But that map is required in analyze phase. 
so that we get a detailed thing of what the process is doing. What the process is doing. Then this we saw what is CIPOC or copies supplier and proposed output customer having higher process helps in define the project boundaries. This will help you define the project boundary where the process starts from, where it ends, but that is the indefined phase. But in major phase, this will help you to collect data. Where is data collected? In the process part, so how much steps data want I want? I want data in step one, step six, step eleven, step fourteen. That is where the process will be used in major phase. Now in analyze phase, it is used to analyze the data. That is taken in the major phase. This we saw. So the second thing is check sheet or data collection plan. That is what you call check sheet. So some lighter slide. And the person is taking path and he's just checking that he has two years, one neck, two feet, and etc. So, check sheet can be anywhere. The example of this, uh, uh, this slide is displayed so that check sheet can be anywhere used. So, the purpose of check sheet is simplification of data gathering, provide preliminary summarization, and provide basis for analysis. So, checklist can be if you are, uh, let us say, working in an automobile factory and uh, you are preparing a, a car is ready. And it should be dispatched to the uh, workshop or uh, showroom for delivery to the customer. Then the person who is doing the last check will have a check sheet. Do mirror, hai ki nahi. then uh, 10 lamps are there. Uh, uh, then if you have some accessories fitted in, windshield, then painting bar hai na. keys are being put in proper place. Then uh, all inside the car, if you are providing the music system, system hai ki nahi. all these things, there will be a lot of things there. Uh, handbrake uh, is in proper condition. You have got an uh, extra uh, stepney, stepney tire that is provided. Is it fitted in proper way where it is required? All these things, number of number of things. I'm just giving an example of physical, or it can be seen. But in the, if you go to the actual uh, car maker, you will have, you will have hundreds of thousands of uh, things that is to be checking before the car deliver. So check sheet is used there. But something is wrong, you can you can correct itself there only. Or if the car is delivered somewhere without correction, so when you do that uh, analysis, you can find that on since this is day, the check sheet was not to properly, and the car was delivered with a faulty. The check sheet is used for collection of data. Now we have process map. In, when in the process step is detailed out with number of simple simple steps, and then you can check get data for each step, saying that what was the data on this day, what was on this day, who was doing this, who was doing that. All these things can be found out by using the check sheet. So check sheet and process map generally go in tangent and they are used almost in every project. Now this is a check sheet example. How much ejected shirts on a, on a particular day? So where is the fault or where is the defect in the shirt that has been kept on the left side? The circle is a flaw, if there is a square, a tear, and if it's a triangle and it is a mark. That is a shirt is a been uh, uh designed and uh you can say stitched and made at the factory and somebody at the end is checking the shirt for any flaws before it go to the market so this is a check sheet of a shirt and how much are rejected how much accepted all data is kept here so when we are now let us in the same example if you say that there is a, a complaint from customer that we are receiving shirts uh, shirts uh, for which has a mark or which is a tear and in the market and what is the issue then you can and see the check sheet can be referred how much shirts were dejected, how much accepted, where are the tears for the black mark, and then why this mark is here. Then there is something wrong in the process. Then go back one step before this step. Where is the last step here? So, what is there? What are the last steps? So that last step was ironing. So, are there during ironing the marks are being marks are appearing on the cloth? No, then go one, one step back. If dying or something drying, that is how you go for the analysis. So this is a typical example of a check sheet. Door paint hai aapka car, this is a car door. Then you can check bubble aki dar aya hai, kidar run hua hai, matlab or run hua hai, scuff kidar aya hai, double aisa aya hai. So all these things can be used by done by using a check sheet. So this is a typical check sheet for a door paint. So these are how the checklist check sheets are used in the project. And this data is related to the check sheet and this data is then analyzed for finding out what is the root cause. The area of application are machine wide breakdown, hai aapka, number of defects and location of check defects. Hai. And all these are the examples where areas where the check sheet is used. 
Now next is the third stratification. And grouping the data in some similar characteristics. Like uh, if you have a, let us say, a students in the class of 10th standard, there are 100 students and we have to find out where the students are lacking and where they are uh, doing fairly good. So you can take the test and then different marks are uh, being, uh, marks jo often hote hai, certify them using like science mein kitne marks hai, kitne students science mein 35 ke niche hai, 35 to 50 hai, 50 to 75 you are 75 above hai. Similarly math, English, some of your language you are, social science is there or something else is there. In science, if you are science 1, science 2, or if you are physics, chemistry, biology, all these certifications are the data and we collect it. And then you can find out that in this class, the people, students are trailing or lacking in science 2. So you can now concentrate on science 2 by asking students to study more or give them extra lectures in college, something like that. That is how certification helps in data collection and also in data identification. So certification can be done by number of ways. So one can be who, by who. By using a who question like uh, sometimes you get a customer complaint same we can take example pizza delivery you are getting customer complaint of pizza delivery so you can find out who is doing complaint so who matter it can be young people uh aged people or uh, you can say bachelors hai, female se complaint hai, male se jada hai. That, that is called who what type of customer is giving complaint then whatever complaint is there, it can be quality, it can be quantity, the quantity hai, aapne bola 6 tukda dega pizza mein, 5 tukda hai, 5 piece aya, ya 8 piece ka pizza tha, uske jaga 6 piece ka pizza tha, that can be a quantity complaint. Then then there is a uh, quality, uh, there is quality complaint, pizza was, uh, I, we had a cheese pizza, and extra cheese aya ni uspe, and something like that, it is a quality complaint. Then something can be a time complaint, that it was not on proper time, so you can dis, uh, certify the time use of complaint type kya hai. Time, hai, quality, hai, quantity, hai, or, X, or, or something else is there. Then, when was the complaint? So, you can have that, you can have tradition like uh, day of the week, uh, or you can say uh, weekday, weekends, mein complaint kitna hai, weekdays, mein kitna hai. or uh, in some particular cycle, you can say ki winter, mein complaints kitna hai, summer, mein kitna hai, monsoon, mein kitna hai. or month, well, you can see time of the day, complaints, uh, late complaints, other you are coming in morning time, afternoon time, evening time, late night. So this is how certification helps in different data. Once you get this data on where, you can say where also. If you are a pizza in some part of city and the complaint is coming from the other part, near station, away from station, or the pizza, my uh, pizza delivery joint say, complaint comes from 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers, so where also. So what this gives is that it is give, give you a specific area specific region specific uh, you can say location wherein you have to concentrate to reduce the complaints now once you get a complaint that oh you, if you see from who you say that most complaints are coming from aged people Mantlab, they must have something in mind because they will be having some problem with eating do they want the pizza to be delivered faster so that they can eat properly because they have problems in having eat uh, having eaten the pizza or somebody, what type of complaints? And somebody is saying that pizza to aapka quality varam nahi hai. You had ordered a cheese pizza with double cheese and you have only sent plain pizza. For that you will come to know. Then you can find out in your pizza uh, order book, what is what, what the pizza date, what was the order, and what was wrong in the packing or what was the something that, that you can then find out. Or there is a the complaint is more coming in ready season, if you say when. So something ready. So you can uh, say that our traffic, our traffic is more. Or due to heavy rains, a person is not able to travel by using a bike properly because of low visibility or uh, water clogging, something like that. So when you have a uh, data which is uh, certified properly, you can concentrate on the causes and try to reduce the causes. That is where this uh, tool is used, certification. So I think this is that period delivery in last month, minutes late beyond promise. So what was the... Um, uh, five to late, more than five minutes delivery late hua. five to seven minutes late hua. eight to ten minutes late hua. what are the uh this is the certification late delivery is time 12 to 3 for 3 uh, 3 for you 12 to 3 what is the time 4 to 7 8 to 10 so where are where are we late so you can see in 8 to midnight that is last uh last graph the two are two are reds that is more than 70 minutes is the time taken for delivery so that is how you certify data to find out 
सो द पर्सन नाउ आई यू आर दर प्रोजेक्ट लीडर सो यू कैन कॉन्सिडरेट की सेवनटीन रात को आठ से रात को बारह बजे तक रीट में डिलीवरी इज हैविंग टाइप प्रॉब्लम लेट एस फोकस देयर लेट एस फाइंड आउट वॉट इज गोइंग रॉन्ग देयर सो यू कैन स्टडी स्पेसिफिकली दिस केसेस नो नीड टू स्टडी द होल डेटा दैट इज वेयर सर्टिफिकेशन हेल्प यू इन फाइंडिंग आउट which which what is the cause and where are we uh, lacking behind so you can concentrate more on the things because data to both hota hai and to get correct data to certify data and to study the proper data is very important or, or otherwise your project will go haywire like aapne certify nahi kiya data ko to aap din bhar ka data dhoonde baithenge aur aapko kuch usme zyada milega ki nahi and you may kind of miss out some vital things so you have to use this tool for certification data the next is product analysis Alfred Italian uh, economist Wilfred Pareto, what he told that 80% of wealth is in 20% of people. That was the statement made by Wilfred Pareto way back in 1993. So it was almost 100 years ago. He told that 80% people are having 80% of the wealth of any country is having with 20% of people. It is true today also. We know industrialists, the businessmen, and their numbers are quite high, and the wealth they have. Uh, Well, they have created for themselves in last twenty twenty five years, much more. So this example can be same used in our projects. Joseph Zuran is the project guru. What he shows that based on the principle of Pareto, he says eighty percent effects are due to twenty percent causes. So when you are doing cause and effect, if you twenty percent of the top twenty percent causes, if you solve, your eighty percent of the project is done. Eighty percent of the project is. Completed, or you can get eighty percent of the results by only solving twenty percent of the problems. So what he says is, let us take example for him. So you have to find out the vital few from the trivalent many. That is what is there. You have got number of number of causes. So you have to find out which are the three four causes that are actually causing me the problem. That is where the Pareto example used. Now we can see the we will see the example of uh, for Pareto how it is done. So a tape unit assembly defects. Let's just see. A tape unit is uh, assembly is having some defects. So they are now studying the defects and they are categorizing the defects in these categories: A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A is unit surface having scars. B is defective of assembly. C is mounting part missing or incorrect. D is insulators having cracks. E is incorrect length of wire. F is incorrect assembly. G is soldering defect or problem. And H is incorrect or missing labeling. So these are the uh, eight uh, categories that are defects are found in the eight categories. Now they are done a sampling of around 150 uh, tape unit and found out which defects are in which tape unit. So they found out 70 are in A, 12 in B, 18 in C, 23 having D type of defect, 10 having E type of defect. So what is the defect? It's a type of defect. So they have found out the number and they have found out the percentage. So 47 percent and descended, and then they arrange the percent in the descending order, okay, and also find the cumulative percent. So this is simple. Once this is done, they draw a graph. That is, they draw a graph showing percentage defects uh, and defect type on x bar, x chart, x axis, and percentage defect on the y axis. And then after the graph is drawn, they draw a 80 percent line. Percentage of defects का 80 percent line you go to the graph and that you drop on the x-axis. So you will get the top four defects that are causing this product as defective. What are these top four? A, D, G, and B. So you can see from here what are A, D, G, and B. So A is unit surface having scars, D is insulators having cracks, G is soldering defect, and B is defective subassembly. So this helps in Giving you the data, and sorry, this helps you in giving you what are the top defects that are causing your causing you problem or causing your project why to go wrong. So this is the one of the example that I saw. Once you do the stratification, then you can do a Pareto and find out what are my top causes. This is how the causes can be identified. So you can cause a reasons of defect and also reasons for delay. Now the next thing is brainstorming. What is brainstorming? Generate ideas in simple words. 
So how you generate idea? You have your project in your hand. Let us say that take, take the same project that you have a word term pizza delivery in time and you are uh, target is 30 minutes and you are going wrong. By certification, you found out that you have goes wrong in late night, that is 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. in night. The pizza delivery is always late than the uh, required time. So you want to analyze the problems and you have to solve it because your target is to make a pizza delivery on time. You have to solve the problem. So what you do, you assemble a team of people. And you have the people, you are, you are the leader. So you take people from delivery side, from the uh, oven preparation side, from the people who take orders, that is the person who take orders on phone, mass log lenge, delivery logistics. You will uh, assemble people of around 10 people in a room and you tell them that in last three months, we got a complaint of late delivery of pizza in this, this area. And uh, we have found out from data that the delivery the, the pizza delivery is late in, in night from 8 to 10, 10 to 12 a.m. So we want to find out what are the causes for late delivery. Then people will start shouting, Are either one either yeah, nahi, are cycle nahi, tha, mere paas, usi, scooter late, petrol bump, people shout at you. But that is not brainstorming. So you have to do it systematically. So the ways of doing systematic brainstorming is first thing you don't jump to conclusions. Don't jump to conclusions. Second, no idea is stupid. Don't try to kill the idea. Let them uh, say whatever they want. Then generate quantity. Important is that the maximum idea should come. That will give you a confidence that you will get you are going to get some root cause. If you get only three, four ideas, then it will be. Uh, you will be going vain. So you have to get maximum. You are impre let people say what they want. Just ask uh, somebody to write down the ideas or somebody to type in the laptop. What are the ideas? If somebody is saying X idea, let type the idea. Why? Type it. Type it. Go on typing it. Ask somebody to type it. You have to facilitate people. You have to make them talk. That is important. Then uh, you know that people will start shouting at those who are very talkative or those who are bold enough will start talking and the persons who are shy or they will not talk anything they will say only keep uh, sit in the meeting and uh, keep quiet but you have to make them talk so what you have to do is you can do a rules at round robin karenge. so every person has to give only one idea you have 10 persons so you start from x then you go to a 1 2 3 4 5 and 10 then again you start from one again now uh, again idea when you have 10 cube kiska idea hai so you can do this if you are less people you, you have to do two three rounds like this in that one two agar paache logi hai to ek ek round mein paache idea aayega so you can do two three rounds to get around 15 20 ideas if you have more people like your 10 to people so you can in two three two rounds only you will get many many, many ideas so that can be one of the way to do the brainstorming then second uh, brainstorming is that you can do 635 saying that six persons assembled together and three ideas should be done by each for 5 minutes so 5 minute tak sabko dene ka socho though somebody may not be clearly talking or somebody not be able not uh, uh we can say comfortable to talk his idea in front of the front of every person so he may not be able to talk so so you can see you can give the writing so that you will not if you're not comfortable talking you can take idea writing also then other thing is that you can do random also you can say somebody's name are bolo so some he will tell the idea then you can say rotate to somebody else so you can do it in random way also there are many ways of doing this brainstorming session, but it is always important that brainstorming session must give everyone a chance to speak. Don't uh those unko bhi aapko bolne ke liye majboor karna hai, compulsory karna hai. You have to get idea from them. Always remember the people who talk less have good ideas. Okay, so you have to always try to dig in, try to force him, try to make people think and give the idea. Do not criticize the idea. Jo bhi idea aegi, note kar lo. If you think aapke man, man mein lag hoga, or if you are thinking on the ki, this idea is bad, this idea is not good, this idea is uh, hopeless, jo bhi hai, don't tell anything. Okay, okay, karke, you just record the ideas. And then when the idea, then you, after some time you can ask the people to do, justify the idea. But at that meeting, don't do anything. Let people use the ideas, collect it, 
you can ask the question simple questions like data hai kya iska where can we get data for for this idea or who else need to be consulted to expand this idea all these things but don't criticize don't shoot down and don't also praise somebody or don't criticize somebody both the things say remain plain remain non biased in the meeting you are the leader so you have to take maximum idea from the people so this is the brainstorming tool what are the benefits of brainstorming tool ideas are improved among members of course you must be also able to uh, you must have experienced this that somebody says something you get something which is good on that thing that is what the improvement in ideas jaise koi bolega ki sir let us keep a cycle to deliver pizza instead of going walking so somebody can say oh, no no cycle se acha you can give a motorcycle so that it is improved area to save time so that is what you can add as improve by members presence of others increase creativity there lot of people are there creativity is more diversification increase creativity and pulling of idea makes it the group responsible what is this is that when you are when somebody is giving idea in a group and you say we'll do it the person feels that oh wow, my idea accepted so he will work for you he will trust you he will give his uh, dedication to your project so this is also a way to moralize people or motivate people to do something for the organization so this is a very good tool generally used but you have to use very carefully some people get in the get in nasty conversations conversations in the meeting and one other each other will try to shoot the idea are tere ko akkar nahi mere ko malum hai tum kya karta tha this is not the way so we have to be as a facilitator or the uh, team leader you have to take a call very judiciously mm-hmm. and give the rules to the people before they start like we have dikhaya ye rules so everybody has to make aware of the rules first so you are as a leader you have to take control of the meeting and you have to see that it progress properly and in direction of that we are we want it is like these meetings are very much risky of going here and there you start with the idea of doing something and end up and end, end, end with only tea and coffee so we have to be very as a facilitator you have to be very judicious unbiased and careful while handling this situation but this is a very good tool a simple tool to find out the causes for your this tool is again used in improved phase also let us take an example here only of the same pizza example you have got a somebody called a cause that sir we have a problem of going in the, of, on this raja dr rajaram mohan roy road because it has one way and there is no other road to go to uh, that x area so the pizza is getting late as the traffic signal there sir there are lot of traffic in on the road this is the this is the cause of your delivery of late pizza you note down the idea then once we move to once we move to different different data collect kiya some analysis kiya ab main aapko malum pada ki yahi cause hai late delivery ka this is a very prime cause for late delivery then you have then you can use the again called the same brainstorming team as that you now in the first session we identified 52 causes out of which with the data and everything we drill down to three causes now we want to have a solution on the cause so again brainstorming can be done and you can get an idea of how to improve this somebody will say rajaram mohan roy ke yahan se you can go by uh, mahatma gandhi road which is on the left hand take it or somebody will say ki no no there you can go by train in that same uh, road and take a take a rickshaw on that side where you you save time so this is also a idea so this is where brainstorming can be used in uh, uh, identifying the causes also and also in finding the solution for the cause but don't do in the same meeting everything if you are doing brainstorming for analyze phase you have to only identify the causes list down the causes say thank you to everybody then analyze the causes using a smaller team data collect karo uska if you find out that ye 15 mein se apne ko teen root cause hai then you can again call a team of the same people and ask that apne humne data collect kiya apne bola tha 15 idea aaya tha apne paas data collect kiya humne last 3 months ka so analyze kiya to malum pada ki ye teen hi cause hai uski wajah se hamara they relate ho raha hai so now let us get a solution for these three causes that is where again brainstorming can be done to identify the solution for the causes okay same is likha yahan pe then we have cause and effect diagram what is the cause and what is the effect the sun rises the rooster crows what is the cause and what is the effect can somebody tell me what is the cause and what is the effect here 
Yes. Kush. Sir, the cause is uh, the rising of the sun and the effect is the rooster crow. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody have any other idea? Any other answer? Okay. So, right. We, we know that the crop, the uh, rooster crows when the sun rises. So, we have to be very clear about what is the cause and what is the effect. Don't jumble here on the cause and effect. So, this is the cause and effect diagram. This is also called a fishbone diagram. Ishikawa diagram. It is a number of names for the same diagram. Ishikawa was a Japanese person who developed this diagram for the first time. So, his name is given Ishikawa diagram. Fishbone diagram is for that it looks like a fishbone. So, it is called a fishbone diagram. But, the three means the same. Hai. So, it can be this one so if you manufacturing process or transactional process transactional process is a service service process what do you say manufacturing environment is a uh, manufacturing uh, that is what we do the making of a product service is a delivering a service so it, the causes can be broadly classified into these six categories if you are in transaction that is service environment then you have policy place provision people procedure pattern this customer which are having an effect. If you are in a manufacturing environment, you have 5M and 1P, that is person, machine, method, measurement, material, mother nature. So person, the person who is doing a job, is the is the cause or is the problem due to the person doing a job? And what are the causes of that person? You write that there. Person is a person not X or Y, person is a people working in the factory. Then is, are the is the problem related to the machine? Then you put on the machine category. That is there is an equipment problem hai aapka machine ka breakdown ki wajah se law problems ho rahe jo bhi hai and is the problem due to cause to method that is the method or the process or the steps in the process are wrong isliye we are getting a problem you can put on the method part measurement when system analysis the measurement is wrong so it can be measured then material input input material hi apne ko galat mil raha hai sir kya output wrong ho raha hai sir can be on the material Mother nature is, which is not in our, in our hands, like excessive rain, excessive heat, hai, ya, jo apne aap nahi hai, power fail ho gaya, we are depending on power on the outside party, so power fail ho gaya, that is the mother nature, the causes which are not in our hand are under mother nature, and for manufacturing environment, and even on that uh, service environment, we have uh, policy, Ka policy is wrong, you are given service, so apne policy is wrong, that's why all of them are wrong, Place and is due to place, due to provision that is provision of material, people common here, procedure, method is procedure, customer. Customer is not able to understand your uh, your process and he is giving you wrong feedback. That can be also one of the cause in service environment. Sometimes you say that are sab karke ke baat bhi wo customer chilate rehta hai. That is where there is the problem of the customer. So you have to solve the problem of the customer. But the customer is giving in excessive trouble or he is giving problems which are out of your hand, out of which is nothing. How can you give? No, you cannot give. So that can be categorized under customer and that can be dropped. This problem is not Management you have to show with data. He is asking which is not in our control or what is not in our, uh, you can say it will be done. Procession will not be done. If you have a customer is asking, you can ratify it uh, and say that it is not possible. So this is the effect, cause effect, if you see diagram for poor housekeeping. Now you can see here, <coughs> you can see here that uh, he has only used four uh, causes here. Here there are six, four, so which are applicable are used. Did not everybody, every time you use all the causes. So poor housekeeping, ke liye kisi ne, uh, bola ki are project karo, ke apne, uh, office mein housekeeping poor hai, we want to improve the housekeeping. So what are the causes? So men, that is people, poor habits. मतलब उसको habit ही नहीं है साफ करने का कुछ भी झाड़ू सिर्फ ऐसा ऊपर ऊपर से लगाता है झाड़ू मतलब actually doesn't do the sweeping of the floor झाड़ू देखे यहाँ से वह घूमता रहता है that is habit it is not a poor habit so why it is poor habit because it is lack of culture lack of training why lack of training because जो supervisor उसको पूछता ही नहीं बराबर क्या करने का कुछ सिखाया नहीं है तो कैसे करेगा वो that can be one of the cause Lack of importance. वो बंदे को importance मालूम नहीं. स्वच्छता क्यों चाहिए? उसको मालूम ही नहीं है. तो क्यों रखेगा स्वच्छता? That is second thing. Then uh, uh, habit absenteeism. 
स्वीपर आता ही नहीं दो दो दिन काम पे तो हाउ यू गेट द फ्लोर क्लीन दैट इज अबिट और दर इज नो पनिशमेंट किसी ने एक्शन नहीं है करके वो मजा कर रहा है तो दैट कैन बी कॉल्स ये जेनरिक एग्जाम्पल सो समे बी आई पुट इन सम एग्जाम्पल्स सो एवरीथिंग इज नॉट कवर्ड इज फॉर यूर जस्ट रेफरेंस की हाउ यू कैन डू अशिकाउ डायग्राम देन मशीन मशीन जैसा आपका वो योगा मशीन फॉर क्लीनिंग द फ्लोअर तो मशीन लीक है तो आप यहाँ से लेके आते हैं वहां तक तो यहाँ पीछे पानी गिर जाता है मशीन से दट इज मेकिंग फ्लोर मोर डर्टी तो ये सब चीजें है तो वाई इट इज लीक यू टू करोजन तो वाई करोजन मेंटेनेंस नहीं किया तो क्यों मेंटेनेंस नहीं किया देन ऑल दिस थिंग्स विल कम आउट मटेरियल मटेरियल इज शॉर्ट है मतलब वो साबुन जीवन दिया होगा वो है नहीं तो दे आर यूजिंग द यूजिंग लेस सोप और लेस दिस लाइज हॉल जो भी आता है दैट इज बाय द हाउस वी पुअर मेथड्स मालूम ही नहीं है कैसे करने का पीपल आर डूइंग वाटर वॉश करते हैं पहले बाद में स्विपिंग करते हैं या वैसे जो भी है सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर द इफेक्ट फॉर बैड हाउस कीपिंग सो दैट इज हाउ कॉजन इफेक्ट डायग्राम विल हेल्प यू इन फाइंड आउट द कॉजेस कॉम्प्लीटेड वर्क प्लेस वर्क प्लेस में लोगों का लोगों को तकलीफ होती है से सो हु कैन वॉट कैन बी द रीजन फॉर कॉम्प्लीट सेल्फ बॉस सबॉर्डिनेट पियर ग्रुप दैट ऑल कैन बी द रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर हैविंग अ कॉम्प्लीट सो दैट कैन बी ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ ट्रस्ट लैक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेजीनेस इनकेपेबिलिटी अनसेटिस्फेक्टरी रिमोरेशन रिमोजरेशन लैक ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी शेयरिंग कॉपरेटिव कॉपरेशन में एक दूसरे में देन एडमेंट सबका ईगो वर्ट हो रहा है सुनने के लिए बॉस इज वेरी एग्रेसिव बट इज नॉट अ लीडर इज जस्ट अग्रेसिवनेस मेरे को चाहिए मेरे को चाहिए बस ऐसे ही मोटिवेट नहीं करता है लोगों को काम करने के लिए ऑल दिस थिंग्स लैक ऑफ क्लैरिटी ऑन वॉट इज टू बी डन लैक ऑफ डिसिप्लिन फ्रॉम बॉस खुद ही आता नहीं काम पे टाइम पे तो लोग क्यों आएंगे ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर जस्ट अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉम्पिटेट वर्क तो दिस दिस इज अ टिपिकल इशिकावा फिश बोन डायग्राम or a cause and effect diagram wherein we can you know, find out what are the causes preliminary causes or root causes to the problems that are caused in our product or or delivery service then next we move to histogram now these histogram charts and graphs are pure representation of the data so they just give this is usually used for management uh, presentations Where the management is not interested in your numbers, you see the you see the show them the graph, you show them the data, you show them some charts, then they are impressed. So that is all. The histogram has the three constants that is mean, spread, and shape. So we thought it mean is average, spread is the variation, and what is the shape? What is the bell curve? What is this? So there is an example of histogram. Height of adult male in city, 15 year boys in the city. Uh, height of adult male in city. You can you can histogram. You can take a sample of hundred uh, million city, and then uh, then uh, uh, take a histogram of what is uh, how much height is there, how many people are above five feet, below five feet, five point five or six me, how much is six point four me, how much is whatever. Then mass of ten by fifteen should match test. You can take an average, average how much is there, how many people are below fifty, below hundred, whatever. So this is how the histogram is prepared. The bell shape symmetrical histogram will look like this. and uh, then how to do a histogram but i think you are all engineering graduates so histogram preparation is not a big deal we can skip this uh, acha karne ka histogram find out the weight find out and draw the histogram then we'll just go through some other uh, charts that is run chart pie chart different different charts that are used in the management presentation the typical graphs line graph and is overs and runs code what is run rate net runs runs code per over so which are having you can show in the line graph you are you know watching if you are watching a cricket match you always see this graph on the tv they show ki innings one first inning mein kitna running uh, kitna runs ka what was the graph and then second inning mein kitna hai are they behind are they forward will they win will they lose all these things they do using this graph in pillar graph you can use the pillar graph to show the progress of your uh, you can say production in last 5 years what are the production and uh, how it is improving or not improving to be here bar graph pillar graph se horizontal ho jaye a vertical graph and horizontal graph 
in column uh, pillar or bar graph that is there. Then belt graph where you have to show uh, two three programs be done in the same uh, for a you can say school office app, uh, app, appreciation and in-house programs are done. You see programs. So how much programs are done for school? How much for office? How much for in-house? All these things. Same topic has been used. Uh, uh, different programs are done on same topic at different places over a period of time. And you can do this uh, using a belt graph. Pie chart is uh, most commonly used. Projections kitna hai industry mein. So all the defects A make it nine, B make it nine, C make it nine. All these are showing a pie chart. So you can also write what is A, A, what is the defect that they also will appear in the pie chart. Compound graph, uh, we did this in uh, Pareto, the compound graph. Radar graph, radar graph generally not used in manufacturing industry. You can see this in uh, geological industry where they track the earthquake and all these things or radar. Uh, using uh, defense industry or in uh, aviation industry, radiograph is used to track the uh, object or to track the aircraft. Radar chart also. Factor graphs. So these are graphs which are generally used in manufacturing industry. If you have various causes having a, a same uh, effect on the Y, that is, you have got cause A, cause B, cause C, cause D. And having effect on the your product. So which which causes have behaving how that you can find out using this scatter graph. These are using using Minitab. There's a software called Minitab. So in Minitab, you put the data and you get the graphs. Common example relationship is cutting speed and tool life, moisture content, breakdown of equipment and age. Aging say equipment breakdown hota hai kya? temperature and lift hardness, striking pressure and electric current, temperature and percent of forming soft drinks. So all these are the relationship diagram that is x is a relationship with y so you have to find the relation kaisa hai uska you have got x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 6 7 10 causes aapke paas and which is having a aapka ye example it is a delivery ka there are 10 causes which are having a late late delivery so which cause is having a how relationship means which cause is giving you positive relationship which is negative which is inverse which is direct you can find out using the scatter diagrams then causal effect diagram y by analysis you asked using why why you will get the root cause. It is the example of why why car stop at signal but could not restart. Why no petrol? That can be one of the cause. Abu ke petrol hai to cross maudo. Second why problem with engine? Okay, so engine seize ho gaya hai. No no engine seize nahi hua hai. So cross maudo. Number of combustion cylinders ka problem. No combustion cylinders ka problem. Hai. Okay, so kya problem hai usme? Why no combustion cylinders? No sparking cylinder. Air flow is incorrect, inadequate compression. So you go on a compression to Barabare, spark cylinder in Barabare. So air future mixture is incorrect. Why it is incorrect? Air supply inadequate or fuel supply contaminated or fuel supply bande. If you have a fuel pump, you can come correct. Contaminated when you have a fuel. So air supply is a problem. So why air supply is air filter is plugged or choked is it incorrectly? So why is choked it incorrectly? No SOP for checking the choke. But love you choke, crab okay. So crap you why? Because wo regularly maintained. Every you are dikha the owner's manual may. When you take a car or you take a bike, you have to own the manual. Koi padai kisne, those open na kaota, koi partana use. Oh yo us malikata, kitna time ka solution karneka, kitna time ka karneka. You are not following the SOP, then you are going to have a problem. This is a simple why why diagram. Why this happened, then why, then why, then why? Generally, after five whys, you get the answer. In general, a thumb rule. That after you ask five times, you ask why, you'll get the answer. If you uh, solve that problem, your top topmost answer is corrected. This is a why why analysis or a why why diagram. One more why why analysis for Ramayana. Ravan Ravan was killed. Why? Because of war between Ram and Ravan. So Ravan Ram Ram Ravan ka war ki hua, so Ravan is stuck in life kiya. Ravan is stuck in life kyu kiya? Because so if you go why 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 asking, you will get some root cause. And then that is where you find out that. So if you go down, you can see here. So Kaike ne usko Ram ko bheja, Kaike ne usko Ram ko kyu bheja? Kyunki Dasharat usne, Dasharat se usne vardhan liya tha ki mera ek kaam pura karenge. Dasharat se usne vardhan kab liya? 
जब वो जा, जा रहे थे रथ पे सवार होके इसमें तो एक जगह एक व्हील निकल गया तो कहीं के लिए उधर उंगली उंगली से वो व्हील पकड़ के रखा दशरथ को बचाया और दशरथ को व्हील क्यों क्राप्स हुआ तो उसमें इंटरेस्ट नहीं किया था सो रामायण ड्यू टू पोअर मेंटेनेंस प्रैक्टिस एग्रीड लोग सो गए क्या सब नो सर नहीं सर है ना तो ऐसा होता है अपन करेंगे तो रामायण भी कैसे निकला देखो रामायण भी क्या क्यों हुआ क्योंकि इंटरप्रेटिंग गलत थी जोक जस्ट जोक बट हाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट द रूट कॉज एंड ट्राई टू इम्प्रूव योर प्रॉब्लम दैट इज वॉट ऑल दिस टूल्स विच आई शोड अप टिन नाउ और ऑल यूज एनालाइज फेस टू फाइंड आउट द कॉजेस तो आपको समझता है वाई क्या है वॉट इज वाई इज माई प्रोजेक्ट सिटी क्यू योर वाई एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पिजा डिलीवरी फॉर लास्ट वन मंथ और सो तो पिजा डिलीवरी आपका वाई है Pizza delivery to any customer in 30 minutes is your why. That you finalize using when you are in define and measure phase. City Q, your city Q or why or project definition is to deliver a pizza to any customer in 30 minutes from his order time. Then you find in measure phase you find what are the last 30 days ka average delivery time kya hai. So it comes to 40 minutes. then you have to find out why i am giving a delivery late so potential excess that we are doing today in analysis phase that is using basic query tools value stream mapping identification process mining fmea and then from potential x we come to a root x or vital x by using some tools and on the vital x it can be 1 2 3 or 4 not more than 4 generally we say Not more than four because it must be on your control. How to control all these things at one go? So not four, not more than four access should be targeted based on some tools. Then you act on that access, act on that causes, take solutions, provide solutions, and then implement the solution for a period of time, say one month. Then find out after one month. What our improved solution has worked or not? Now, what is after one month? How much is my average per delivery time? If it is still forty, then your solutions are wrong. Your causes are wrong. Again, go to analyze phase. Again, find out more causes. If your solution, if your pizza delivery time has decreased from forty to thirty-six or thirty-one, then wow, your solution has worked and your problem is solved to some of the extent. That is now what we are doing in analyze phase is finding out the potential excess. So we are on the top of the panel now. Over the period of next two three weeks, we'll go down the funnel and come out with a solution, and our project will end. That is what the six six message. So now, from these are where some quality tools, QC tools, basic QC tools that we are used to uh, are used to find out the causes or a potential causes, potential excess. Now we have some statistical tools that are used using that are uh, done using a software called Minitab. Uh, when we uh, complete our session, and in the last session, I will also show you Minitab, how to use Minitab, and uh, what is the how how you can find out some of these box plots. Whatever I will explain later. So, box plot is used to compare two or more data sets and find out what is the difference between two sets. So, this is the box plot typically looks like, and this is the uh, that line length of the whisker. That is the full length of data from top to bottom. The middle box, it is called box, is on the 70th percentile, and median and 20th percentile. So this is how a box plot is uh, delivered by the Minitab when you put data in it. This is the example of box plot for data for some five six persons. What is the average score or percentile score, and where they stand? So this comparison you can see comparatively. Where people stand and what are their scores. The box plots are used in two types. One is in uh, analyze phase and one is in improve phase. Once you have completed your project and the project is improved, like I have said, that the average delivery time is 30 minutes. So, your average 
not as improved uh, sorry 40 minutes tha, not as improved to 35 34 minutes so what is how you can show in box plot so how you can show management okay, we have improved this is a box plot you can see here in the first box that is on that on the left side you have got september to november 11 data wherein the some uv glow is high and your project is to reduce the uv glow so in march to june 12 you can see that the after some improvements that is in <coughs> six months you have done the project and you have reduced the uv glow that is how you can show to management that what is how the project has been completed this is the box plot also correlation diagram that we discuss positive correlation hoga to how the graph will look negative hoga to kaisa hoga no correlation no correlation hoga to kaisa hoga then what is the uh, relation is aapka uh, alag alag curve curve relation hoga to kaisa graph dikhega all these things are in this graph so in correlation analysis understand the interpolation shift by pearson coefficient that is value of p aata hai wo bhi minute app se aata hai and you will get a, a, a relation of a strength that is minus one to plus one minus one imply, implies strong negative and uh, plus one implies strong positive relationship zero doesn't imply any relationship but if there is no relation zero aaya this means there is no relation nahi hai. let's say example aapko de sakta hu mein ki if you give your cause is that the person uh, giving order is not giving the order properly and you are uh, your person is confused while taking the order which is giving a which is delay which is causing late delivery when you find data and put in graph and you find that the relationship is zero you can drop that x or you can uh ignore that x saying that this is no relationship so when you have got 15 20 x's together you put data in a minute tab and find out the relationships so you can which are having a uh relationship near layering zero that you can that is a semi drop so that you get a clear two or three axes which are having a strong relationship positive or negative one. the next is the pug matrix the simple tool of a you can use this tool in we use in car selection so aapko abhi car lene ka hai to aap market mein gaye so first column you have your requirement what length you want what width you want what height you want sitting out itna chahiye aapko petrol chahiye diesel chahiye all these things and then you have four cars you have swift you have figo your i10 your indica and the position is diy then you can rate these specifications using a pub matrix in this way my criteria and then uska figo hoga to uh, you can uh, say plus hai minus hai matlab abhi aapka criteria hoga ki mere ko engine chahiye 3850 ke kareeb to aap dekhenge swift aur figo ka nazdeek hai i10 aur indica ka kam hai length so you can say there this as you go and shift and figure is giving plus at an and indica is being minus so you can use this uh, matrix to find out key it is generally using solution uh, finding ki which solution is better than the others so by doing this matrix he, he has written around 10 12 uh, specifications and then rating it and then you get a score of uh, swift gets 40 figure gets 50 and uh, i10 gets minus 30 indica gets minus 50 so you have to fit between shift and figo that is what is using pug matrix so uh we have come to this end of this session and you can see here what we studied that we have to find out the vital x so we are on the top of the funnel now in the analyze phase so we have to find out the maximum number of x's that are and that can be found in your project so that you get a good data and you can identify the process properly in by using correlation analysis pareto you can screen the excess and which are less significant like where p value unka zero se kam hai and sorry p value nearing zero hai ya phir aapka pareto mein 80 20 use karke jo 80 wale hai 20 wale nikal lenge first phase mein so you can drill you can reduce the excess from some to some here is example taken the 55 nikala tha pehle aur 2 pe aa gaye then you have to use more parameters like fmea and other things regression analysis to get to the vital few that is here it is written six so it is almost one fifth of the excess or almost one tenth of what you started in the beginning so generally we say that four to six excess are to be selected for uh arriving at a solution so that you don't get lost in the solution 
so it may result in some in something else problem and you may your project may fail so you have to always say that the span of control for your project must be four to six access that are very much uh, attacking the problem or that are, that are having a cause or main cause for the problem so that is how we do analyze phase so now let's have questions if anybody is having questions Sir, can you explain the pug matrix part? I did not understand. Pug matrix, okay. I will just go through again. Pug matrix is to find out is a selection guide, selection uh, tool. Now you have a uh, you have to see a, your.